is important to any nation because it is the architectural foundation of a good census. It is what we base the national frame on. It is very important. And you know with the national frame, you are able to reach the people, know they are, what they are need, give them the necessary and appropriate infrastructures. So this is a very important exercise and the cooperation of every resident of this town and its environs constituting all the six L, uh, uh, five LCDAs and one LGA together to cooperate with us so that they too can enjoy the benefits that EAD comes along with. <laughs> It's been wonderful. We let me also clear this that um, at the population we are apolitical, but we cannot come to a place like this and meet with the leaders. Early in the morning, we had met with the Obas and they said, we still have to meet our leaders. Whoever they introduced to us as leaders are the ones. We don't go by political leadership. We just meet leaders, and these are the leaders that have been introduced to us, and that's why we are here. They've shown tremendous support to the EAG. This is what we want from every Ikorudu person, every Lagosian, to show tremendous support, because this it is a census, the data from census that government uses to formulate policies with which we can have all the benefits that we need to have as citizens and residents of this country. So it's been very encouraging, they've been wonderful and they are supporting us. That is the truth. And we really how many days do you think this EAD would last? Usually it's about four to five weeks. Sometimes it spills over to six. Because, you know, Ikorodu now has grown beyond what it used to be. We are looking at five weeks, but then if you have to do it for six weeks, the most important thing is to get it done correctly well. That's the most important thing. Thank you so much, ma'am. What's your name again, ma'am? Bimbola I'm the Honorable Federal Commissioner, National Population Commission. I represent Baker State. Thank you so much. Thank you. This meeting, the EAD, what can you say about it? Yes, good. We're laying a foundation for uh, having a proper uh, census. Uh, Kurodu, as you know, has grown in leaps and bounds. The last census done years ago revealed we were about 500,000. To date, we know we're close to 3, 4 million. But getting that to 3, 4 million, we need to have a foundation. We have to need a structural uh, framework. That is what the AED is doing today. So it's a, it's a first move by the commission to come here, talk to the political leaders, talk to the uh, royal leaders so that we can sensitize our people uh, in NS for the exercise that is forthcoming. The commissioner, we just now said you facilitated the EAD. What yeah. can you say about that? Yes, um, I've always stated that the Kurodu and Lagos states were undercounted. So anything that would ensure that the accurate figures for not just the Kurodu, for Alimo Shaw, for Surulere is pinpointed. It also helped Lagos State in achieving a lot and getting a lot of its desired benefits from federal government. Okay, sir, the security. How big the means of defense? What is the implementation for this? Yes, we're working on a new security architecture. Um, in the fullness of time, we would ensure that Nigeria is safe again. Okay, one word for our late 
Baba, Baba Kekere is a man that can't be forgotten. His footsteps are in the sands of time. He has built modern Lagos. A lot of the, the university I went to, Lagos State University, was started by him. He built Alausa. He built a lot of things in a very, very short time. So may his soul rest in perfect peace. And I'm not sure. I pray for fortitude to bear the loss, but the loss is extremely painful. In Ikorodu, you facilitated a lot of projects. One of its which is um, Igwe Road and the school beside the Bashon Road. What are the challenges and what um, advice can you give to other people who are looking up to you? Yes, we just, not just, we've, uh, till date we built about 20 schools. We've done the Igwe Road 2.2 kilometers. I'm just coming from there because you have to make sure you're on the toes of contractors. If they see you, they will know that they have to meet up with the expectation. We are also expecting new roads uh, to be built this year. We are building the sports complex in Itailewa. Uh, we've employed a lot of people as well in federal, uh, but also in the security uh, agencies. So I believe, uh, like we just spoken about Baba Jakonde, work extremely hard and try to leave a legacy. So that's the advice I'll give them. Thank you for making the crowd proud. Sir. Okay, thank you. Enjoy it, sir. Be sure to subscribe for more great content.